here before the girls championship race. What's going through your head right now? What's about to uh, happen? I'm, is something crazy gonna go down? We have a couple, we have a, uh, like a favorite on our team, Ooh. Sydney Kelleher. She oh. could be doing something crazy. We also have, uh, was the girl that won, was the girl that had the fast time of uh, divisional? She was like a really small girl, but. You're talking about the lime, old lime girl? I think so. Or no, it was Trumbull. Yeah, Trumbull? Mm. Yeah, I should probably know these things, but yeah, I but don't. She had a great race. We'll see what happens. It's gonna okay, it's going to be a fun one. It is going to be a fun one. Immaculate High School. We're here with the uh, boy, uh, Colin Walsh. How are you feeling before this? this uh, we're here with the person, Colin Walsh, here before the girls race. The Milford is racing. I might jump in there. You think you're going to hop in real quick? Yeah. I, I think, you know, this is just my thoughts. I think if they run fast enough, they're going to win the individual race. What do you think about that? That's just an assumption. Yeah, they could have a shot. Well, individual and team. Yeah, I, I agree. Sydney Keller, a favorite, you know, you know, much much like you, a favorite, you know, my favorite. Yeah. People's favorite. We're here with, with Caleb Sarah. Uh, right now, the best mullet in, in the entire Connecticut running game, I would say. Uh, very fresh. Yep. Appreciate it. Um, you know, are, are you excited for today? I'm so pumped. Honestly, all the uh, nervous energy has just turned into a uh, you know, uh, ad adrenaline and potential energy here. You know? We're talking physics. Yeah. You know what Nick Simmons once said? Uh, yeah. Breathe in negative energy, breathe out positive energy. All right. That is indeed what he said. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, have a fun time and uh, run fast is my advice. Subscribe to Gato Boys. Yeah. Click on the, the bell down below and comment. We love Caleb Sarah. All right, I'll, okay, I'll leave this part in. School shoes. We have a, a shoe update. Uh, we got my pegs in there. Uh, I had to use Caleb's school shoes, but I, I remember, I remember my spikes. Yeah, yeah, those are Nike fresh. Shoes. The Nike yeah. shoes on God. Yo, we're here with uh, Nick Claver's brother. Climber. We're here with Evan Bureau and Jackson Solman. Jackson, what are your thoughts before this girls' race? What do you think is about to happen today? Who's uh, winning? I don't really know that many teams, but... Uh, Oh, someone's gonna win. Evan, thoughts? Yeah, yeah that, that's solid. That's solid. Well, uh, you know, I, I guess uh, we'll transition to the next part of the interview. Uh, what do you, your, your uh, oh, what do you feel about the New Milford girls team snapping you and you leaving them unopened? Oh. <laughs> okay, ladies, let them start. Here with uh, Joe Barlow's number one guy. Uh, you know, a lot of expectations from Joe That's Barlow. My captain. People are saying Joe Barlow's going to go top 20 today. Thoughts on that? Uh, well, I'm not usually one to count my chickens before they hatch, but uh, but I think it's looking good. I think uh, we got a strong team this year. I think if uh, if Devin Tala can can use his Joe Burrow shoes and 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 finish the 5,000 meters, then we got a strong shot at top 20. You no know, wise man once said. Uh, don't catch your, don't count your chickens before the egg, and you know that man was Andrew Capisi, and I think if Andrew Capisi was still with us today, he'd probably give you this advice, you know, shoot for top 16 on the day, you know, yeah, team wise, exactly. individually top 25. I think you, I think you can do it. Like you and Devin, you know, maybe Devin. I don't know if Devin will be up there. You and Jackson definitely will work together. Devin, you know, I think he, he'd already be top 25 if he had a little. His training started a little earlier in the season, but uh, it is what it is. The past is the past, and uh, I think I think he's got a good shot. I think All he's right. doing one down. All right, yeah, we'll see. And here they come through at the mile and a half mark. Yes, commentator Seamus Rudy. Seamus is also here in first. It looks to be a girl from Trumbull High School, I presume. To be the case here, she's rolling right now. She feels just about on her shoulder a few steps back. Short gap, Sydney Keller kind of out of contention right now before the beast, but a lot can change. Katie Bolke in the back as well. Stay with him, Gavi! Sydney Keller, uh, the new Fairfield pack is rolling. SWC is represented right now. You love to Come see it. Come on, Musky! Uh, more than for girls. I'm not too good with names here, I'm sorry. 
Lorenzo, thoughts on the race so far? <laughs> Two thumbs up. It's going well. Um, keep you updated on if I know any. Oh, it's it's AJ's sister, Kat. She's getting it done. The Milford's getting dubs today. That's what it looks like. Let's go. Oh yeah, running and shit. I'm gonna go over here, get a quick interview with uh, with Trevor Fuller. Trevor, what's the goal for today, brother? To finish. There you go. There That's all you need. That's yeah. all you need. Go with our front pack. And just get there. Work hard the entire time. Let's go, Keelan. Let's go, Keelan. That's uh, uh, Marin's sister. Wow, small world. Anyway, it's the immaculate tent. Beautiful. Oh, it's going to be a close finish here uh, from the words of Nick Fusco. Got a girl from Glastonbury coming through right now. There we go. You know, they're going to run something around 19 minutes here. Very impressive for this course. There's Katie Bulky, sister of Michael Bulky. I run in her home course. Yep. Newington Fields, nice. New Fairfield. She's going to New England. Do they? There's Sydney Keller of New Milford. Two SWC compatriots here. Nice. Chris, <laughs> thoughts on, on the race so far? Uh, yeah, it's elite. Uh, here we go, EO Smith. <laughs> Oh, uh, New Milford girl, that's Glastonbury's three, or two, three, and four. That's deadly right there to get two, three, and four within the top, like, 25. Glastonbury's kind of got it on locks right here. He's New Milford's third. Oh, my gosh, and John Carlos Diaz. Where, where, where? Oh, there's, there's Yang. There's Yang. I don't think this is sister. You gotta go! Come on, Manchester! Do it Come on, Carlos Diaz! Go Red Hawks! <laughs> Wait, aren't they the Indians? Uh, <laughs> uh, here we go. It's AJ's sister. This is Catherine Tabersack coming in fourth for or fourth on the team for New Milford. Get a couple! Oh there that was Glass and Bear or there's Glass and Berry's uh, five and six. Dude, you're messing up. I'm sorry. On, I'm, on, I, I'm really, this out. broadcast is a nightmare. Go get somebody. Go get somebody. Come on, Danny. Uh, Pomperog. There's your cans. Almost there. I promise. I wouldn't run that time today, honestly. Evan Tree. Let's go. New Fairfield. I love the SWC. Here we go, Ridgefield pack. Nice. Ridgefield rolling. Nice. Nice. Great running, Chris. So let's talk about that new Drake in Twenty One Savage. Yeah, we, we we have Chris and and uh, and Nick Nick Fosco here to talk. Red shirt. Yeah, to talk about the new new Drake and Twenty One Savage album. Guys, what do you think so far? It's your favorite song. Um, I don't know it by the name, bro. Circo Loco or something like that. Circo and Loco. That Heck. one's really good. Yeah. Travis Scott features fire. He's yeah. back from the dead. Yeah, you could uh, say that. Album art, thumbs down. Man. Um, yeah. It's pretty, yeah. Pretty good, though. Don't know who that is on it, but... She's like a two-hour. No, I'm with Jack Camry. Jack Camry, thoughts on Griswold. Do you think they're going to do big things today? They got the strain triplets. Uh, actually, no, we can lead ask Chris about this, too. Chris knows the strain bros well. Yeah, I played Fortnite with them back in the day. T yeah. t tell, tell them what's up. What do you what's think Griswold is about to do today? What's what? What's, what? What are they about to do today? What's Griswold about to throw down? Ah, uh, shit, man. I couldn't tell you. Did you win any games with them or what? Yeah, yeah. We caught those back in... 2019, okay? Fortnite dubs, chapter one of season two. That's not how it goes. No, and I gotta censor that. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> not to be real. <laughs> like seventh grade, I did good. And then goes out. Jeremy, bro. Thoughts on, uh, thoughts on Plainville girls team. How'd they do today? Hey, first time making it to the open. Wow. 
a big deal. I mean, yeah. hey, imagine that. celebrate the day. Plainville's on the come up. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Imagine that. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not the East Lime Dynasty or anything, but hey. Celebrate the little wins, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah, whatever. Talk to me, you have a national title. <laughs> I know. <laughs> here with uh, Joey L of uh, Central Joe Connecticut. It's jo Joe Money. Joe Money of uh, of Central. He's a, a Hale Ray uh, graduate. You know, let's get the Hale Ray preview of Open, so camera's not focusing. Okay, get it. Well, you know, it, it's looking like a good day. We definitely have a few very strong runners in there. Mike Mike Wazowski and his brother Matt. Yeah, Matt Mike Wazowski. He he's looking pretty good. I think he's going to be up there. Definitely all New England. Like uh, hoping to run at Rhode Island next uh, week. The coach he he wants him to run. He'd love for the whole team to go, but they're seated 12. You know, it's good, you, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. just it's going to be a fun day for them, Aiden but Bud's maybe not a, right a crazy day. You got Aiden oh, Budge. Aiden Budge. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden Budge in the mix. Oh, no sister. way. That is my sister. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll get a quick interview, interview with Kira Budge. Kira, how was your race today? Awful. Oh, do you not have fun? No, I had a cold. Oh, uh, well, hey, I mean, we all do, right? Yeah. That's, that's the way it goes. Uh, you, you enjoy it? You like cross country? No. Yeah. Yes, she does. No, no one really likes it. No one likes it. Yeah, we're here with Allie from UConn. Hey. How's your season been going? Oh, in 10 out of 10. Yeah. First cross season ever. Great time. That's fun. Yeah. Do you play soccer before this? Or, I did. Yeah. I did. That's that's the the cross country mm. runners sport, I guess. But yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. day here at Wickham so Park. High. Very beautiful. About to watch so high run. Oh yeah. yeah. So high, so fast. Out so high is about to throw yeah. down. Fastest yeah. sophomore in the state, shout probably. Out Sh shout out that Newtown pack. So I'm saying, all one of them, right? All one of them. Yep, yeah. It's gonna be a crazy day. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Got the Hill Ray squad warming up right now, led by Mike Kraz and Matt Kraz. You got Trevor Fuller in there too. With I think that's Hunter Brown. Maybe not. What a squad. What a beautiful day at Wickham Park. Family. Wow. Very, very non economically sound running form. Kipchoge yeah. would be pissed. Yeah, he needs to fix that. Yeah. Here we go. Jason Tatum. He's here. Doesn't he have a game today? Yeah, Jason. Thoughts on Jason Tatum being here at uh, Wickham Park? So basically, his overall just went up one point in 2K, so I'd be I figure he'd be like practicing or something, especially since, uh, you know, he's going for the MB MVP season. But I mean, hey, who doesn't like some cross country? Exactly, exactly. So. Wickham Park, you know, even Jason Tatum. Yeah. That's the world we live in today. So there he goes. IJ here. They've started the boys' race. Gabe, I'm not sleeping on Danbury. You got Gabe. I'm not sleeping on Danbury. Getting loud for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You know what's about to happen. You know what's about to happen. It, that money line right here. <laughs> Danbury's about to go off. That's the word. All right, Stephen Hergen going to be in first place. That's, that's Jack's bet. Stephen Hergen Rother coming over the hill is going to be in first. We'll see. In any second now, I mean, there, the, the anticipation is, yeah, is building right now. And there it comes, the truck. Look at it go. So majestic. And behind the truck, wow, Luke Davis of Simsbury. Followed by Griffin Mandriola and Caleb, <laughs> I can't swear, Caleb Sarah of New Milford getting out quick. Owen Martin, the whole squad. Wow, these boys are rolling. Gabe Larson of New Milford, Jackson, Reben, Soren, and Jack. We're here in beautiful East Hartford, Connecticut for the running of the boys state open race. We're here with Gabe and with Tim. It's gonna be a very intense race. The sweeper truck is rolling through now. You know, some, something to take note of early on in this race. The Milfords one and two got out quick. You know, we'll see what happens there. Gabe, or not, uh, Joe, yeah. thoughts on the race so far? Well, all I heard my, my high school coach say was uh, that was the worst start possible, so. Okay, so bad start for Hill Ray. I mean, Potato, potato. Really depends how, like, which way you cut potato, it. Potato, you know? potato is yeah. what he's trying to say. You know, 
Hey. We're here with the uh, the Fairfield Ward band. Yep. You know, you guys you guys excited for today? I love Wickham Park. Very so excited. Go, we're going to New England. Going to New Hold England. Now. Who, who's Fairfield Ward's top guy right now? Parker Broderick. He'll be All in like right. the top ten. Let's see it. We'd love to see it. The truck's rolling through right now for the boys. State Open Championship. Here it comes. Who's going to be in first? Luke Davis is leading him. But here's Griffin Mandriola of Suffield leading him up the hill. See, I have not seen Steven Hergenrother yet. He's, he's here, though. You got Colin Walsh up there, SWC's finest. Let's go. You'd love to see it. Steven Hergenrother in third right now, coming through. Here we go. Griffin Mandriola rolling right now in first. Class double S champion right there. Colin Walsh, Bergen Rother, uh, Luke Davis, Ben Daniels. Let's go. Michael Traz up there. Seamus Reedy of Immaculate. Some Hall boys, the Hall Pack's going strong. We got one of the strain bros. Who else we got here? Lorenzo Lopez of Immaculate. Let's go, Matthias and Solves of Joe Marlow. Let's go, Ben Campion of Summers. Ryan Schmidt of Joel Barlow. Here we go, Hunter Brown of Immaculate. Matt Kraft, pretty far back. He's got some moves to make here. Hail race three. The EO Smith pack is rolling now. What a squad. Gabe Larson. Hill race four and five is up there. That's their six. And the race is underway. Jackson Reben of Joel Barlow behind them all. We're here at the, the filming perch. Uh, this is the crowd here at State Opens. Everyone's bringing the energy. We got live music, courtesy of Fairfield Ward. Love to see it. We got uh, Gabe and uh, Tim up there as well. You got Ryan, uh, I follow him on Strava, I forget his name. Uh, pretty big crowd here, Nick Fusco, uh, Aiden Budge, Aiden, Aiden Budge's sister. Very big crowd, I, I don't really know if I know anyone else, but uh, you know, a beautiful day. Andrew Hedges, undercover, that's not the real him. Um, you know, there's Nick Fusco looking mean, Coming ready straight. to go here as the truck emerges from the depths of Wickham Park. Here it comes, up the hill, rumbling, hearts pounding just as fast as the runners. Who will be at the top of this hill? Will it be Hergen Rother? Will it be Suffield's Griffin Mandrill? Will it be Colin Walsh? Will it be Owen Martin? We will see in just a few seconds. It's a great pack. Griffin Mandriola and Steven Hergen Rother. Colin Walsh not too far off. We got Braden Bayer of Rocky Hill. Staples number one up here too. Owen Martin, the SWC, he left us for Xavier, and now Colin Walsh is leaving him behind. Trumbull's number one. We got Ben Daniels. Who else do we got up here? Francis of Bristol Central. Michael Chris. Mike, you gotta go. He's passing right Luke there. Davis. He's in position to make New England. And there's Evan Bureau, the sophomore. And, oh my God, Ben Shiesty and Seamus. AJ Tabersack, are you kidding me? Couldn't get much better. Stanberry's rolling right now. Caleb Sarah in great position with Lorenzo Lopez. The one of the Strain brothers. Oh, you love to see it. Oh my God, Cameron Miles of Weston. One of my favorite Rhett Weston runners behind Tim. Van Campion of Summers. Ryan Schmidt, the Barlow Pack. Would you look at that with Trevor Fuller. Make him oh some room, make him some room! And Ben Gasparini's making his way up the hill too. The remainder of the Strain brothers. Devin Tala, Hunter Brown. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, what a race so far. You love to see it. We will see you guys at the finish line. Close to the finish line with Gene looking over, surveying the course. You love to see it. 
Jack Cambria, thoughts oh. on the race so far? It's going well. We going. Got, I saw three Barlow guys up there. We had a pack rolling. We did have a pack. Maybe, maybe not the right type of pack, but a pack. No, no, no. And here we go. The truck rolling by, signifying the close of the race, the final 600 meters. Who will win the state open here at Wickham Park? In first place right now, it is Steven Hergenrother, the favorite of Richfield, followed by Griffin Mandriola of sophomore. And here we go, Hall's number one rolling through right now. That's your top three. And in fourth, Br Braden Bayer of Rocky Hill, followed by Colin Walsh, the SWC's finest. Colin Walsh, fifth place. And the Xavier faithful cheering on it. Owen Martin here in the final 600 meter season, sixth place, followed by his Wilton compadre. They're rolling right now. The whole pack's coming through. Francis is coming home. So high, Disa of Newtown, followed by Ben Daniels. And ladies and gentlemen, your champion yeah, of the woo! boys state open, Steven Hergenrother, Griffin Mandriola takes second. That's Gavin Sherry's former runner partner right there. Love to see it. And a big gap to fourth where Braden Bayrick is right now, Rocky Hill, followed by Colin Walsh. Let's go Bayrick. Yeah, Rocky baby. Hill's finest, <laughs> Colin Walsh, the SWC's GOAT, fifth place for him, solid day. Followed by Trumbull's number one, the Wilton Invite champion. That's David right there. Followed by Owen Martin, up the hill. Ryan Grudge got Stonington. Francis of Bristol Central. Liam Fedigan of Law. Ben Daniels of New Milford. So high, D of Newtown. What a squad. This is for New England's now. This is where it gets competitive. This could be crazy here. All, Tim saying Hall's probably got the dub. I would agree with him. Luke Davis of Simsbury versus Ben Scheisty of New Milford. This is crucial. Here comes Mike Crash. He's kicking for state. He's kicking for a New England uh, chance to run New England. Everyone's starting to burn up here. Evan Bureau, Bethel. Let's go, Greg. He's all here. It. You'll love to Come see on, it. Agni. And AJ Tabersack of New Milford pushing it. What else we got here? Ryan Schmidt of Joe Barlow. Ryan Schmidt getting it done in the clutch. So high! Push! One of the Strain brothers, Lorenzo Lopez of Immaculate. Silence, Caleb Sarah. Silence. He's giving it his all. Matthias Galvin of Joe Barlow, followed by Matthew Kuzwiski. Cameron Miles of Weston. Weston's last hope. Devin Tala of Joe Barlow. Jackson Soberman of Joe Barlow. Same as Reedy. Oh, he's feeling it, but he's got the heart of a lion. He's going to finish. Yeah, kind of a low in the race here. I don't really know many of these kids, to be honest with you. Oh, and there's Ben Gasparini of Immaculate, followed by Aiden Padros. Beautiful. Go ahead, Ken. Hunter Brown of Immaculate. You love to see it. One of the strain bros. So we're here with second place finisher, Griffin Mandriola. Nick, you got some questions for Griffin. Yeah, Griffin, uh, just some initial thoughts right after the race. How are you feeling? Yeah, you know, I feel pretty good. It's a nice PR. Uh, a little tired, though. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you happy with how you ran the race? Yeah, I'm very happy. Had a second PR overall, so. Hopefully. That's awesome. So uh, how are you feeling going into uh, Rhode Island next week, running at New, uh, New England? Are you excited about that? Yeah, I'm super excited. I know it's a little bit of a flatter course, so I'm just going to keep trying to push the pace. That's awesome, man. And. Uh, what do you think it for uh, indoor season? Feeling good about it? Yeah. Got some plans? Yeah, I feel good. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta think about this weekend first. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. Uh, yeah. And last question: Do you miss baseball at all or no? 
as long as my dad's not listening. <laughs> hey, Adam, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I do a little bit. I do a little bit. Well, Griffin, thanks for your view. Congratulations again. We're here with the boys' state open winner, Stephen Hergenrother. Stephen, what went in today? What gave you this excellent burst of speed up these hills and, you know, really pushed you to this great win? Uh, you know, a lot of hard work. Uh, I have a great team, great coach. Um, just years of running and enjoying the sport. You know, the team went off today, second place. You know, obviously you guys wanted the win, but, you know, what, what was the mindset going into today with the team? Um, yeah, we definitely went in with something to prove. Um, our third guy was not there for the state class meet. He was he had some back pain. So, um, you know, we had some confidence. Um, we didn't, you know, definitely not uh, super confident in the win, but, like, confident that we would do our best. Right. I mean, hey, New England is New England, no matter the way you get there. So, you know, it's going to be exciting next week. Uh, you know, what, what, what's your goal for next week? You want to win the whole thing? Um, well, there's some really good guys in New England. Right. Um, getting the championship would be awesome, but really it's to run my own race. Um, and we'll see how the result is. Well, you know, congrats on this one. Your name's going to be next to the likes of the Sherry's. You know, you're up there with the best. Um, you're up there with Alex Osberg now. You know, it's going to be a great feeling to solidify that. So <laughs> congratulations on that, and uh, good luck next week. Thank you. All right, we're here with uh, Jacob Sarah after his State Open's performance. How do you feel? Well, you know, all it was was uh, leaving out everything on the course that you came in with, and that's exactly what I did. Whether it was a good race or not, I gave everything I had, and I'm happy with our performance. We were ranked fifth, got fourth, and we're all very proud of what we've done this season. And there's still more to come. They're down here. They're down here. Yeah. Down here. Oh. Xavier, they, they did this at Els to us. Guess what we're going to do? Xavier's down here. Yeah, come oh. to New Mulford, Xavier. You're going to yeah. need it. If you're seeing this, Owen, down yeah. here. Oh. Oh, all right. Maybe not that. The old SWC we beef. We love you, Owen, but just know. I got beef with Xavier. Yes, sir. We got yep. beef. That's all I'm Let saying. Let him know. Let him know. Can we just get a, get a pause? Just a... Like, Ready? Put the arm out. Oh. You gotta lower than that. Lower than that. There you go. All right. Well, awesome, man. Congrats. Man. All right. So we're here post, uh, post Wickham. Uh, and uh, we got the McRib, you know, presentation so far. Five out of ten. They put the McRib in upside down in the box. Uh, we got the classic, uh, classic McDonald's Sprite. Munich. I see. I'm about to get ready here. Ready, ready for the first bite? Yeah, I think I'm ready. Cheers. All right, yeah, let's get it. Mm. You know, it tastes like a piece of chicken, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, pork's there. Maybe. Definitely enough barbecue sauce. Sometimes yeah. they don't put enough on. That's true. It is very it's moist. It. Yeah. It's really good. You know, this is Andrew Capisi's go-to Wickham meal. I mean, I can kind of see why. It's it's decent. The onions, yeah, they add to it. Now listen, you're gonna need a napkin when we do yeah. stuff. You're, you're gonna, gonna need, need one. Gonna need it's a bath, Gonna need a napkin. And I know this is kind of unrelated, but the fries are really crispy today too. Mm -hmm. So not a big cheers to that. Not a big commercial, no. But you know, so you're right out of ten. Cold bite ten. I think seven out of ten. Seven. Two? You can get the mix seven two. Get seven two. Good. Best post wicked meal you can ever get mm -hmm. um, and we'd like to close out this uh, this vlog by saying thank you for watching you know we've been running around Wicked for the past week trying to get these, these videos out to you guys and we hope you're enjoying them you know the steps I have today is unbelievable yeah this is like a 30k step day um, yeah you know thank so, you guys for watching and uh, hey we'll see you I know uh, I know the viewers are know, but what's the next chapter for Gato's Boys Media next chapter for Gator Boys Media man we got a big race coming up next week though we get a big collegiate race coming up we at do. the Cortland Park on Friday. Friday, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Gator Boys might go to another state. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there. So, uh, hey, we'll see you guys soon, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.